First thing we're gonna do is create our blank layer and we're gonna just call it skin one. Now, the other thing that I want to mention as well is that we've got two types of layers. We've got you know blank layers or rasterized layers like the background layer. So these are all sort of rasterized layers that have solid pixels drawn on them. The other type is an adjustment layer. So if we go into our adjustments here and we use something like a curves adjustment, you can see that this allows us to brighten or darken our image. Now, these are things that we can go back to at any point and easily change. Rasterized layers, not so much, because once we paint on something, then it's a little bit more difficult to adjust it. For example, we can always go back to this and decide, you know what, this was too dark, I just wanna nudge it up a little bit, and it's just gonna brighten. But to change pixels, it's much more difficult. So what you want to make sure that you do is all of your rasterized changes always sit on the bottom of your stack while your adjustments sit above it. And there's a really important reason for that. Let's say over here, we now create a new layer. So let's say we actually create a layer over here and we do some skin healing. So let's say we grab our spot healing brush and we just go to town here and we do something like this. So that's great. It has taken care of that area somewhat for us. And we toggle that on and off. We can see what that is doing. The problem is now let's say I go into here now and I decide, you know what? This was kind of dark. I want to brighten it. Look what is happening. It has brightened the image, but it has not brightened the layer above because this layer here painted in these pixels under its previous state where it was darker. But now these pixels live in this, this sort of darker color. And so that's not gonna work. On the other hand, if we had done something like this, where instead of doing it at that point, we'd created this layer over here, we did the same thing. And now we decide that we want to brighten you can see that everything works just fine so that is just an example of where you can run into problems by putting your adjustment layers below your rasterized changes so make sure that whatever you do at the least make sure that you do all of your raster changes first and then we're going to work on adjustments so that is going to be our workflow throughout this image we are going to start by doing healing on the skin things like frequency separation uh, it's all going to be done first and then we move on to anything that uses adjustment layers so let's go ahead and delete that we've got our skin layer ready to go and obviously we're going to build this stack as we go there's no sense in pre-building it at this point because i don't want to confuse you but later on you may find that you've got uh, sort of a, a general set of layers and adjustment layers that you like to use so you can create something called an action that will build that entire stack for you but for the time being we are going to do this manually the old-fashioned way so let's go ahead and dive into the next lesson where we're going to begin retouching this skin